What's up, YouTube? I'm doing a video on my, this is a 2016 Nissan Maxima. I'm starting from the inside, working my way out. Uh, this is gonna be a overview video on all the mods I've currently done to the car. Uh, for those that don't know me, I do all mods myself except paint and powder coat. I'm not a painter and I don't, I don't powder coat, period. I have, I have people that do that for me. Uh, but everything else I try to do on my own electrical mechanical try my best to just do it on my own Let me get this So let's start with the uh, audio It's controlled by Nexus 7 tablet um, A lot of people ask me what kit did I use or whatever as you can see there's no wires Nothing uh, it's mounted with the new mount tech air snap little magnet in the back put that very uh, very stable then uh, the it connects to the car via Bluetooth and once that's done you can use the command wheel to go through and, and change stuff you know, look at me going through through tracks not a problem same thing with the steering wheel controls changes the track and that that's the coolest thing ever I think once you uh, once you get this connected to the Bluetooth that's all automatic so there ain't no need for kits or nothing the interior let's move on to the uh, interior trim pieces everything that is uh, gloss black I'm wrapping in a uh, imperial empirical rose marble now my last Maximo was wrapped in just like a brown gold marble not wrapped a uh, hydro dip and I moved on to the wrap and I discovered the wrap is is a nice smooth clean factory look as well as uh, it's easier to install. You don't have to take apart your interior. I didn't take nothing apart for the Hydra Dip. I had to take all the pieces out, send them out to my Hydra Dip shop. Uh, it was like a two week turnaround, you know, all that with wrap. It's, uh, you don't have to do none of that. I paid, uh, the wrap was very inexpensive. A lot of people think this is some baller thing. It is not, I promise you. I spent 25 bucks on this wrap. I have enough to do my interior and then some. And uh, this this is the wrap right here. Um, I chose Avery Denison. So this has the uh, the air release channels. It's very conformable. I didn't hardly use... I didn't use no heat. Didn't have to. Um, and I used a micro speechy to get all the fine details. So to give it that nice factory look. And then I used... All my cutting was done with a uh, Ulfa blade, Ulfa Sac 1 with a 30 degree blade. So there's that. Um, I'll be finishing up the rest of the pieces. So it'll be anything gloss black in these cars. So it'll be this, these on all four doors, and that's it. And then if I have enough left, uh, I'll try to get it on this plastic. Because uh, the wrap doesn't really adhere to plastic very well. I'll give it a try. If I can get it to stay down, I'll keep it. So... Let me see, air suspension, this is my current ride height. Very simple. Uh, I'll leave it at this. Um, everyone knows where air suspension is. It goes up, it goes down. Uh, the way my bags are currently set up with the adjustable dampers, um, I can go a few inches above stock height and I can go down. Uh, I'm on 20, so it's not gonna, I'm not gonna frame it out. I'm not gonna lay the frame. It's not gonna tuck the way I have it set up. Um, I don't want it to. Um, currently aired out it uh here i'll go ahead and uh, right, let's get a quick video let's get let's get the current ride height and then i'll air it out so there's my current drive height this is what i'm driving at uh right now i'm actually getting ready to uh, get the alignment next week I think before I do that, I'm gonna raise it maybe an extra inch front and back and then align it that way. And that'll be, I'm still working out as far as what I feel is comfortable for everyday driving. Um, this does have the Bluetooth app. I, I can't demonstrate that because I'm shooting a video with my cell phone. But I'll just go ahead and air it out real fast. Go ahead and pop this trunk. And there's the tank setup. And there's my Sundown SVC 2000 powering my subs. Uh, so we're aired out right now. Turn off the car.
so that's being aired out uh, quick overview of the wrap it's uh, Oracle 970 RA series shift effect Abergine bronze that's pretty much straightforward the car is wrapped there uh, wheels are 20 inch Boston CVTs powder coated gloss black brakes Akibono 370Z sport brakes uh, powder coated illusion root beer rotors are um, 370Z OEM 370Z rotors powder coated uh, well, not OEM. These are uh, slotted. These are... I forget the brand. They're, they're rotors. There you go. From 370Z. Powder coated gloss black as well. One thing when you get into powder coating, if you're going to go gloss black, that, that's my go-to color for everything as far as accents. I will be changing that up and going a different route later this year. But for now, I'm on the gloss black kick. Black is the new chrome. When you powder coat your wheels, gloss black. Everything not powder coated gloss black sticks out like a sore thumb. Rust, dust, anything. So for me, since I show the car, I go to car shows and everything, it's just best to just powder coat the hats and the vents and everything as well. And it just gives it, it's easier to clean, gives it a nice custom look. So we already went over interior. Let's go engine. Uh, engine cover, powder coated gloss black. I mean, powder coated, I'm on powder coated. Uh, vinyl wrapped as well. The engine cover was painted previously. That's why the wrap can even stick. Uh, front strut time brace from, uh, from my 13 Maxima. AM intake from my 13 Maxima. Excess power D1200 battery. Killerglass.com upper radiator hose. All backlit with RBG lighting. Uh, my secondary power system, uh, the heart of that is the Blue Sea system, six channel fuse distribution system, uh, powered on the power bus. The, these six channels are the power bus, positive bus uh, with an eight gauge. The negative bus is going to a factory ground. I have, I'm currently powering three items right now, my RBG controller, and my secondary compressor and the main for the air suspension and the main manifold and compressor is being powered right now. Then uh, the terminal junction is what divvies up all the RBG wires for all the LED lighting. This way I don't have to run a lot of wires directly to the controller. My last car I had a lot of lighting, as a lot of people know that know me, and I must have had 80 plus wires running to that controller, and it was just not, it just wasn't feasible. Every time I wanted to try to add something, I had to piggyback or spend 20 minutes doing, redoing the controller. Now, every time I want to add something, I just run one set of wires to that terminal junction, and it's done, and it's already powered up. Spoiler, gloss black, trunk trim, gloss black, Avery Dennison. Here's my 10s, two SA 10s uh, at 1 ohm. So this is sundown, obviously, says it right there. Wired at 1 ohm. Uh, the amp is a SVC 2000 sundown. Stock alternator, no big three upgrade. Um, I actually have the big three upgrade, the wiring just sitting there. When I attempted to do it, I discovered that the alternator is buried. <laughs> so, I mean, for me, I don't have the tools and I nor do I even want to drain my radiator fluid and do all this other stuff you have to do to access the alternator to add the wire. So I just left it. Um, once I start adding more power to the system, which I intend to, I will pursue that, even if it comes down to me paying a shop to add one freaking wire to alternator as much as i hate to do it that might be the route i end up going uh what else there's some painted black accents uh when i first got the car i painted uh the side rockers black and the front of the uh it's typical a lot everyone in their maximus is doing it um yeah um i can say i was one of the first people to do it but i mean that doesn't really matter so that's it. All chrome accents are gloss black. Car has gloss black accents throughout. Interior, Imperador Rhodes Marble. Suspension is uh, Airlift 3H with Air Force struts. 
Uh, I got a cold air or a short RAM intake, a uh, front strut brace. I got some lighting, tablet, system. Uh, that's uh, some rims. That's pretty much everything going on right now. Uh, plan mods will be, uh, I will be rewrapping the car for the Clean Culture Expo that is April 24th in Orlando. I will be in attendance there. Car should be rewrapped, a completely different color by then. Um, also, I'm going to redo the air suspension wiring. Um, the instructions have you put it to an ignition source. I'm going to put it to an accessory source, and the reason why is because I want the car to rise and start with the factory remote start. The remote start is accessory power. It doesn't actually start the engine when you remote start the car. It just gives you full accessory power so you can warm everything up, like in the wintertime or something like that. You still have to put your foot on the brake and hit the power button to start the engine. So when I use the remote start, the car doesn't rise up the way I want it to. So I'm going to wire the system to an accessory power and that'll fix that. Um, I want to add more to the system. Um, the tens I will be selling here shortly and I'm going to upgrade to a Sundown ZV12. Just 112. I don't need 15s, 410s, 215. I, I, I don't need all that. These two tens hit a 140.5 SPL. I'm more than happy with that. And I'm almost certain the 112 will hit just as hard, if not harder, because that 112 is going to take all 2,000 watts. It's not going to split up 1,000. So we'll see how that goes. And that's going to be in the very near future. Also very near future, obviously, would be the rewrap. And then more stuff for the summertime will be new wheels. And when I mentioned the gloss black accents, I will be changing that. That's going to be my little ace up the sleeve. Because I'm going to be doing something pretty radical, I think, for this uh, this car. Which I will not mention right now. Uh, roof spoiler is uh, Spoiler Kings. That will be getting switched out to still in, still in uh, rear diffuser and lip are uh, in the works. You may be noticing I'm missing my trim here. That's because uh, I mentioned before I do all the work myself. And I discovered the hard way that this is installed from the factory. And once it's installed, it does not come out. I took off the C-pillars, everything, to try to access it from the rear. No. Uh, once those clips are in and spread, they, in order for them to come out, you have to break them off. So I'll have the new ones already on order. I'll have it to, um, today, I think. Uh, I'll have to stop by the dealership and pick that up. So that's cool. Put that in, fix that. Anything I break on my cars, I replace. Nothing aftermarket. If I replace, uh, if I break a clip, I'm gonna replace it. If I break the window trims, which I did, <laughs> you can see this one's mangled up. Um, I, uh, while learning how to do all this stuff, I'm not afraid to admit I broke all four window trims. I didn't know how to take them suckers off. Now I do. So. I've done, uh, I've wrapped two Nissans since uh, this car, and I've never broken the window trim since. They come, I get them off real easy, and I put them on with zero damage, but I had to learn the hard way. So I've already replaced two of them. The other two are sitting in the box in my garage right now. I just haven't got a chance to put them on. Like I said, I do replace everything I break, especially on a brand new 2016 car that I, that I show. Everything gets replaced. It sucks but that's that's the way it is i want my stuff looking and feeling factory so here's the final walk around wrap this up Lawson airlift still in or fall sundown those are all the everything i've used so far avery dennison Everything I've used so far to mod this car. All right, stay tuned uh, for future videos. I'll be doing how-tos. A lot of people ask me for how-tos. Um, most popular request is how to remove the front bumper. Um, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm getting people asking me left and right, post a video, post a video. In order to do a proper how-to video, I have to physically do it. And sorry, I'm not gonna take apart my bumper right now. I'm just sorry. You know, I'm going to, when I rewrap my car, 
that's when I'll do the how-to video on how to do some of this stuff. Because I'm going to take off the door handles. I'm going to take off the mirrors. So I'll post how-to videos then. So let's just have to wait. Uh, another thing too, the grill. How to take the grill out. I'll post how-to videos for that. These come off. These come off. Here. You want a how-to video? Here's a how-to video. How to remove the front pillar piece. There. Done. That's all that's holding that car on. Some clips. This this item. That's all that's holding the item on this car is some clips. And there's my, my wrap. There's your how-to video. There's one. All right. Wrapping this up. And see you guys in the next video.